And what happens in the Civil War is after the Civil War, we don't have access to the labor pool that we had prior to the Civil War. And because of that, hemp, which was, you know, quite labor intensive to decorticate, um, started to fall out of favor and it was replaced by cotton. Cotton is king. But there was a day when few people believed that cotton would have as many uses as it does in today's world. And then in the mid-30s, you have um, the decorticator come online. And so the first decorticators are invented, and they're going to revolutionize the hemp industry. Decorticators are a mechanical tool that's going to, you know, take the labor intensity out of this you know, process. Um, at the, you know, parallel to uh, the development of cotton, timber and paper pulp had come online. So what Hearst saw was a potential, William Randolph Hearst was a paper magnet at that time and a, a timber baron, and what he saw was uh, the potential for that to damage his industry, for hemp to come back online, and certainly if it was going to come back online as a textile, then it was going to come back online for paper pulp as well, and it's a superior paper pulp, so, you know, he, he was right to fear it. You know, he was really politically connected, though, and used some of those contacts, you know, DuPont was a good contact to his. He had the head of the AMA on his side. Uh, so they started a, a kind of a legislative and lobby effort to, you know, put something in that was going to outlaw it. In parallel to that, he was using his newspapers to create a yellow journalism campaign just to really call it a scourge. And Parents beware. Your children homeward bound from school are being introduced to a new danger in the form of a drug cigarette, marijuana. What they ended up doing, his, he and his buddies, was, you know, they very effectively created this campaign that did end up outlawing cannabis in 1937. Without any public debate, scientific inquiry, or political objection, the Marijuana Tax Act was signed into law by President Roosevelt. The act prohibited possession of marijuana anywhere in the United States without a special tax stamp from the Treasury Department. And the Treasury Department didn't give out any stamps, effectively making marijuana illegal. It's worth noting how much of a, a an error we realized that was just four years later when we were in the war effort and all of a sudden we didn't have the hemp for parachute cords or ropes for the ships and you know a dozen different things I mean there are so many things that hemp provided for the war efforts this is manila hemp from the Navy's rapidly dwindling reserve when that is gone American hemp will go on duty again hemp for mooring ships hemp for tow lines somehow they had done a very good job of separating the industrial uses of hemp and the values there from the psychoactive uses or the medicinal uses and, and nobody really saw the the value again going forward by the time seven or eight years had gone by we had really moved on to new pharmacy new pharmaceuticals and away from plant-based medicine so uh, as crazy as it may seem to you or I that's where we ended up we didn't look back at it for quite a long time <laughs>